A county executive under indictment and a legislature at odds in Nassau County. That resulted in a raucous, loud vote on the controversial 2017 budget just happened in Mineola. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan was there. Anger and frustration spilled out of the aisles. Everybody's pushing us under the rug. In droves, they decried Nassau County Executive Ed Mangano's new fees as illegal taxes. Particularly corrupt government. The public begged the legislature not to approve the controversial 2017 budget. You are breaking state and federal law. The AAA, normally neutral, blasted the $105 public safety fee tacked onto all motorist traffic and parking tickets. Using traffic enforcement to balance the budget is bad public policy. An expired meter in Nassau would cost $220, in neighboring Queens, $35. Does Nassau County want to destroy local downtowns? Oh, that's really unfair. I'm living on a fixed income. The county executive told us last month the fee will go for policing. A $105 public safety fee? Yep. Well, first, good news for homeowners, there's no property tax increase. But Nassau County's controller found $115 million in risky revenue and instead called for a 2.5% reduction in all county departments. Which will um, uh, therefore make the, uh, the fee increases unnecessary. And among other fees lambasted, health clubs, cremations, park departments, golf swimming, ice skating, and pet groomers. The Democrats. Um, we are against all the fees. The Republicans acquiesced. The majority will hold off on approving any fees at this time. The budget passed 11-6. As unpopular as that is, a week before the election, it may not be final. The Republican majority says it will now take 30 days to reconsider whether the fees should be instituted. From Mineola, Jennifer McLean. Logan, CBS 2 News. County Executive Ed Mangano, who's facing federal corruption charges, did not attend the debate nor the vote. It's unclear if he plans to run again when his term expires next year.